friends, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am styling seven outfits for various different Valentine's Day activities. It's been a minute. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I last uploaded since I took a two-week break I'm actually filming this one week into that break So it hasn't felt like that long for me quite yet, but I'm sure by the time this goes up It'll have felt like an eternity um, But I wanted to come back strong with a nice outfit video and since Valentine's Day is just around the corner I wanted to style seven outfits for various different types of things you might do for Valentine's Day whether that's maybe going out on a date or going dancing or spending a day with your friends taking yourself on a self-care date etc etc so I have seven outfits for various different occasions I couldn't think of like seven completely different things that you might do so there's like a date night category a festive but existing like I don't really care that much about Valentine's Day but like I want to be festive because being festive is fun kind of category and then there's like the self-care the Galentine's Day the hanging out with your pals kind of thing um so there's you know lots of variety you've got everything from long dresses to short skirts to pants and jeans things like that so hopefully there's something here for everyone but before I jump into the video don't forget to pause go down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I put fashion related content every single week everything from styling to thrifting to aesthetic exploration and I think now without further ado we can jump right on in Okay, friends, so for this first one, we're talking date night. Now, I want to preface this with saying I am just hoping to give you guys some ideas with all these looks, I'm not recommending that you go out and buy these exact products, but maybe trying to find what you already have in your wardrobe that can also work with sort of the outfits that I created here. So for outfit one, we're talking date night, and I think a really lovely idea would be a little red dress. You've heard of the little black dress, but the little red dress is actually my preferred option. I really enjoy wearing red. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. And so I think a lovely red dress that makes you feel good and that is in your preferred style would be such a great option for a Valentine's Day date night. Now, if you like this one particularly, this one's from Abercrombie. I can link it down below and see if it's still available. And I think just delicate accessories is a really great way to go. So with this red dress, which is sort of a bodice top, kind of dress and also has this really sort of sexy slit going up the side i decided to pair with it these black heels i thrifted these at the goodwill but they're originally from target these were such an incredible goodwill find they were brand new with tags absolutely love them so yeah i would just go for like a nice strappy but comfortable heel and then i went for just simple accessories so this necklace is one I actually made for myself, but of course you can find little star necklaces everywhere. You can also try your hand at making some yourself as well. And then I have on my Kalani accessory pearl earrings. I love wearing pearl accessories for dates because I just feel like they feel so elegant and they make me feel really powerful. These are freshwater pearls, which are a much more affordable version of a pearl. And then for my ring, I just threw on this one that I have from Alex and Annie. I got for Christmas several years ago now, and I just thought it was a fun way to tie in the gold accessories and then of course bring in some red elsewhere in the outfit. Now, if you need something to cover up, maybe it's a bit colder where you live, then I am loving this bolero at the moment. Now, admittedly, this does feel a little bit Mrs. Claus Esque, but it also just gives sort of winter vibes, I think, hopefully. <laughs> it's actually an athletic bolero, but it's really, really comfortable. I recently bought this at Old Navy, so I know they're still available. I was actually influenced by the one and only Carrie Dayton and ordered them. They run a little bit big, so I would definitely size down, but I'm wearing a size medium here. And then I did throw on my little puffy cuffs around my wrists. I just thought it was a fun accessory, and also they keep me so warm. Maybe if this isn't your style, another option could be a cape or a jacket so i just went for this one here this is a little cape that fully reminds me of the white witch in narnia which is one of my favorite movie series i kind of love it <laughs> this is a faux fur cape that i actually got at cracker barrel of all places and it is just so so comfy and it's just a really nice easy thing to slip on keeps you nice and warm and then maybe if you go into a restaurant quite simple to just take it off and hang it on the back of your chair <music> Okay, this next outfit, 
I don't know what it was about this dress, but it kind of reminded me of something I'd wear if I went dancing, like on a dancing date or something. I think it's the ruffle at the bottom, just reminds me of like a ballroom dress for some reason. But this is a recent thrift find. I'm obsessed with it but the general idea of this would be a sort of ruffly hyper feminine floral close fitted dress that's a lot of words but the general takeaway is a very hyper feminine ruffly dress that would be fun to dance in so this dress like i said i recently thrifted on poshmark then for my shoes these are actually so similar to the last pair i had on these are also from target i bought these for a wedding several years back i mean they're one of the only pairs i own but it, just a nice good block heel something that's comfortable especially if you're going dance dancing and black heels really take the weight off of and the pressure off of your feet i kept that bolero on again because i just thought it looks so so pretty with this dress and it's just really comfortable to be honest it's also like i said before an athletic bolero so if you are going dancing then this is actually a really comfortable fabric to be wearing for accessories i have on this kindness necklace that i got from pure vita and what is a greater way to show love than to show kindness and so i thought that was a really lovely sort of sentiment and of course is a very important trait to me as you guys probably know i also have on this silver shooting star ring also from pure vita and then these little freshwater pearl earrings these are just little pink freshwater pearls that i made for myself <music> This is actually the outfit I wore to go out to dinner with my friends for my birthday last week. Well, my birthday is tomorrow if you're watching this on Wednesday, but we went to dinner together over the weekend and this is the outfit that I wore. Now we didn't go to a fancy dinner, but I do think that this outfit would be so pretty if you went to a, like a fancy or upscale restaurant or something like that. Or if you just want to go and get pizza, which is what I wore this to do. We just all went out to Mellow Mushroom and got pizza and drinks and hung out, um, then do it because every day should be an excuse to dress up if that's what you choose to do. So anyway, this is a brown ribbed dress. It is again, a close fitted dress. This is from Old Navy. It is just so beautiful and so well fitted. And I just feel absolutely stunning in this dress. I just feel like it hugs me in all the right places. It makes me feel so confident and dare I say sexy. Then I threw on this little black cardigan. This is actually from Target from I believe the Wild Fable brand. For the accessories, I just have on those black heels again from before, the ones that I thrifted. The same star chain necklace that I made, the same Kalani accessories, earrings from the first look, and actually the same ring. <laughs> I think having a few pieces of staple jewelry that can really work well with lots of outfits is such a smart way to invest in accessories or to invest in accessories you want to make. So I really gravitate towards a few staple pieces that I like to rotate in my everyday life. And these are just some of those pieces. <laughs> Okay, this look here is so, so fun. This, I think, would be a great look for going on an activity date. I could see myself wearing this going mini golfing or maybe going to a movie. This is just a little pink wrap dress that has white hearts all over it. Now, I thrifted this on Poshmark and it is originally from Shein, but I would recommend trying to thrift this if this specific dress is something that you want. And because it's a wrap dress, it also seems like it would be quite simple to sew if you are looking for a good beginning sewing project. Wrap dresses are such a great way to start. Now for accessories, I just threw on my white Converse, kept it simple, casual, and comfortable. I have on a Kalani accessories necklace that is half freshwater pearls and a half gold chain and has a front clasp, which I think is such a fun closure for necklaces. I also have on some heart-shaped dangling polymer clay earrings that I made for myself. These are such a simple DIY. I think this dress is so, so cute. I think it's really flirty and it's really youthful, which is something I enjoy. Now, say that it is a bit cold. I think a fun option for this would be a poncho. So this is just a pink sort of mauve colored poncho that I thrifted at the Goodwill a couple years ago. I don't wear it that often, but I really, really love the idea of them. So I do have a couple of them that I try to accessorize with from time to time. And this is good for sort of a moderate weathered climate. I wouldn't say this is good for cold weather. This outfit in general is like a good moderate weather look. Now say you're interested in something a bit more modest. I think a really fun way to tame this outfit a bit is to throw a t-shirt on underneath. I just throw on this thrifted white t-shirt 
from Croft and Barrow and I actually think this is probably how I would be most likely to wear this dress. I feel really comfortable in it and I also feel like it looks again really cute and really youthful and just playful which I'm all about. As a zillennial, I can confidently say I have never felt more Gen Z in my whole life and I love it. I'm born in 96, which is like the last year of a millennial, depending on who you ask. Some people say I'm a Gen Z, some people say I'm a millennial. I don't, it doesn't matter to me, but I think the official label is that I'm a millennial, um, but I feel so Gen Z and I honestly love it. <laughs> okay, let's break this outfit down. I've quite literally never felt cooler in an outfit. I love this look so much. This is what I could picture myself wearing to like a paint and wine night, either by myself or with my friends. This outfit is just so freaking fun. So let's start from the bottom on this one. Starting from the very bottom, I just have on my brown 70s throwback Converse I got for Christmas this year. I absolutely love them. They're like this dark chocolatey brown color that they just make me so happy. They're so comfortable and they're one of my favorite pairs of shoes in my whole entire closet. Moving up, I have on my blue jeans. These are the ultra sky high rise jeans from Old Navy and I got the wide cut or like the flare cut jean and they are just the perfect jeans. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you might have known that I was quite adverse to jeans for a really long time. Like I just hated them. I wouldn't wear them. I never found them comfortable. These jeans changed the game for me. They are my favorite jeans ever. So throw on your favorite pair of jeans and a cute sort of corsety top like the one I have on here and you've got yourself a banging self-care outfit. This is one that I thrifted on Poshmark. It is really tight, but I love the idea of faux corset tops. I think they're really, really pretty. And even though this one's really tight, I'm definitely gonna continue to wear it. And I also love that it has like a nice puff sleeve. This to me feels artsy and creative and a little sexy. And I just, I, I love it. To warm this outfit up a little bit in case it's a bit cooler out, I threw on this red cropped cardigan. I got this cardigan at Walmart around Christmas time, but any sort of red cropped cardigan or any type of cropped cardigan I think could look really cute with this. And then for accessories, I threw on this faux pearl and red bead necklace that I made actually for my Halloween costume. This was meant to emulate Harriet Smith's necklace in the 2020 version of Emma. And then I threw on those heart polymer clay earrings again. And then perhaps the coolest accessory is this little crocheted bandana. I got this at Marshall's recently and I just think it's so, so cute. I think these are called granny squares. So if you are into crochet, which I have tried and I'm so, so bad at, if you're into it, maybe you can even make this for yourself. I think it's really, really cute and it's such a fun accessory. And it also gives me sort of that artsy sort of painterly vibes, which is why I could see this being a really fun outfit for a sort of paint and wine or self-care kind of day. Okay, up next, I'm talking Galentine's Day, or really just hanging out with your friends for Valentine's Day. For this look here, I have a sort of more muted look, whereas a lot of the other outfits were quite heavy with the reds and pinks. I wanted to go a bit more toned down with this look, so we're really playing with neutrals, blacks, and whites, and then throwing in the red and pink pops of color here and there. So starting from the bottom, I have on these black over the knee boots that I picked up at Target a few years ago, and to be honest, up until recently i didn't really like them i've sort of just learned how to stretch them up further so that they don't bunch around my ankle and now i'm actually quite enjoying them anytime i wear sort of shorter skirts i like to wear these over the knee boots because it makes me feel a little bit more covered up that said with these boots i also have on this black and white pleated skirt that i got on clearance at walmart it was like four dollars which is such an incredible deal and I guess they were phasing them out, so I was happy to be able to pick one up before, I don't know what they would have done with them to be honest, but I was happy to be able to pick one up before they got rid of whatever they had left. The skirt is very, very, very short, but it does give that sort of flirty, fun kind of look that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Then with it, I paired this sweater here. Now this is a black sweater with little embroidered red hearts all over it, and the hearts are embroidered 
using sort of different techniques. There's like three or four different kinds of hearts on the sweater. I thrifted this one at the Goodwill not long ago and I just immediately knew it was going to be perfect for Valentine's Day looks and I just absolutely love it with this skirt and boot combo. For accessories, I threw that kindness necklace back on and I also threw on my red and gold ring. For earrings, I have these little heart sweater earrings that I made for myself again out of polymer clay and I also made my headband here which is a color blocked headband with pastel pink and a vibrant red that's really similar to the thread color in the sweater. And I thought this was a fun way to add little pops of festive color to this look. This last outfit is for the person who wants to dress festive but also doesn't really care about Valentine's Day, you know? Like, you still want to participate because why not be a little bit festive but also Valentine's Day is not like maybe your favorite holiday and I thought this was such a fun look. This is just a look that I'm wearing in normal everyday life. So starting from the bottom, I have on my big chunky loafers which you guys, I just recently got a new pair so I can finally get rid of these ones. As much as I love these loafers, they are at least a half a size too small and I constantly am hurting my feet trying to wear them so i got a new pair i'm excited to show this to you guys in some future videos but for now i'm wearing these black chunky loafers that i thrifted on poshmark and i also just threw on my white frilly socks because i think that they are the perfect combination with these loafers for the pants i have on these tan pants that have lines of red and black in them these are just some plaid ones that i recently picked up at marshall's they were also on clearance and i was so excited to be able to pick them up since i'm trying to rebuild my plaid pant collection as I recently cleared out quite a few pairs that were just a bit ill-fitting and then on the top I have this white white collared button-up short sleeve shirt that I picked up at PacSun and then I have on this red true sweater vest it is like that fuzzy sort of sweater material and this was also on clearance at Target for like six bucks um, and I was excited to pick this up I think it was from their Christmas collection they had it in several colors they had it in this red color, a green color, a black color, and they also had it in lavender. And so I was excited to pick up this red one and I just think it is so perfect for this time of year. For accessories, I kept on my red and gold ring. I threw on my, my polymer clay heart earrings and then just threw my hair up in a ponytail and threw on a little fairy tale necklace with a fairy sitting on the moon. I thought this was like a fun sort of pop of color academia kind of look that is very true to my personal style. Like I said, this is an outfit I wear all the time in my normal life. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. First of all, I wanna know how you all are doing. It's been a hot minute since I was last here, so I'd love to see how you guys are all doing. Um, anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to cause absolutely nothing to be kind, so be kind to yourself and others, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.